Hi, welcome back friends. We're out here uh, griddling again live. Johnny here. We're gonna do today some feta eggs with grilled veggies, so a croissant and some Yukon gold potatoes. So just making a little breakfast for me and my wife. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we always have to do, go ahead and see if we can get our music going. Hey Bobby. Thanks for stopping by. I got my potatoes on the griddle already. I got my fire going because it's freezing here in Ohio. And uh, yeah, I had the potatoes down for like five minutes. So let's get started. So the potatoes are Yukon Golds. I put, I put them in the microwave with some water after I diced them obviously first. Put them in the microwave with some water for about three and a half minutes. And then after that, just put a little bit of oil on the griddle, threw them straight down. And you can see they are getting crispy. Hopefully very crispy, so that's good. So I'm just gonna flip them over and then I'm gonna throw down my veggies. So we'll go potatoes, veggies, then croissant and eggs. And that will be the order for today's cooked. So yeah, I did these for three and a half. That might have been long on high. They're pretty soft, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna get a nice little crunch on these by leaving them on the griddle top. I just put down a little bit of oil. I didn't put a ton down. You don't need to always drench your potatoes in oil, except when I make shredded hash browns, I kind of use a lot of oil just to make sure they get brown. But you don't even have to there. That's just a, that's just a Johnny thing. And then I got seasoning I'll put on the potatoes at the end. Put a tad bit more oil and a tad bit more seasoning. So, all right. So next I'm gonna go ahead and put down the veggies right here. I got some tomatoes, some asparagus, some mushrooms, some onions. I'm trying to do a nice little veggie medley to go with our scrambled eggs just to pretend like I'm healthy at least for one day. I'm trying to lose some weight here it's a rough holiday season because the holidays are over but just the winter and my wife and i had our first born and at that point people just kept bringing food over man what are you gonna say no to free lasagnas and stuff so put on some weight i'm not gonna lie the griddle probably didn't help with the weight but never gonna blame the griddle never gonna blame the griddle so I still got mushrooms and some asparagus. And the asparagus I'm gonna put down last. I really don't like to cook my asparagus more than like five minutes. Keep it kinda a little crispy on there. And it's mainly for my wife because she loves asparagus. All right, so let's go over. I didn't really go over the rest of the items. Got our scrambled eggs we're gonna put in there. Bring everything over to you all so I'm not moving the camera around as much this time. Let's see if that works a little better. So we've got two croissants right here. Salt and pepper, that's for the eggs and for the veggies. Green onion to go on the eggs. This is for the potatoes. This is my seasoned salt, pepper, garlic powder, little cayenne, and a little paprika. That's kind of my general potato mix. Feta cheese to go on the eggs. Parsley, just to make it look pretty. Hit the veggies. Yeah, this is smelling good now. I feel like I'm at a football game with flat top rolling and the veggies and peppers and onions. Some little street vendor. Open Johnny's Euro truck or something, you know? We'll go ahead and put the croissants on top of my steak weight here just so they can start to get a little bit warm. Good morning, Sorrel. Good morning, good morning. I want to see, uh, <clears throat> want to see if my croissants can just get a little, just get them a little warm. I might hit them with a little bit of water. I'm not gonna lie, these, uh, these aren't the freshest croissants. They're on sale at Aldi probably because they're getting ready to go bad. 
But I love Aldi, and the only thing I love more than Aldi are things on sale at Aldi. So, let's do it. Fire's rolling pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Let's see here. Keep these veggies rolling up and down real well so far. Five minutes in. Yeah. Uh-oh. Onions looking good. Tomatoes looking good. Get the tongs out for this one. Oh yeah. Mushrooms looking real good. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. So this breakfast actually, I'm not gonna lie, uh, is from one of my wife and I's favorite, favorite breakfast spots. I love, love going out to diner breakfast. Even with the griddle, I still love going out for breakfast. It's just so fun. And, um, and then I love trying to recreate it at home. So it's a little place in Columbus called Grand Day Cafe. They have this feta eggs and roasted veggies. And I just always loved it that uh, it's just kind of some, something, you know, a little different with the veggies. I'm not gonna say it's fully healthy, but it's definitely just different. And it, breakfast doesn't always have to be tons of meat and fried and greasiness. Don't get me wrong, I love the fried greasiness and the bacon and the sausage gravy. I'm fully for that, but I'm just enjoy this one and some change of pace every now and then. Just saying, doesn't always that doesn't always have to be the type of breakfast you get. Potatoes are looking good. This is just one Yukon. It really wasn't. It was pretty big for a Yukon, I guess. I don't know. About half the size of a russet potato. Maybe like a little smaller than my fist there. But it, well, just a little more oil on that. Put my seasoning on it. Which again was seasoned salt, garlic powder, pepper, cayenne, and a little bit of paprika. I'm sorry, paprika and then a little bit of cayenne. Not a ton of cayenne, because don't want it to be too spicy but I don't want my potatoes to be bland either. I'm gonna do a little bit of something. I brought out the steak weight. I thought I might need them for the potatoes, but it really doesn't look like I do. So the veggies are moving along real well. I'm gonna move them over with the potatoes. Got a nice little char on them. Put down a tad bit more oil. And put my asparagus in there. Oh yeah, eight minutes, so okay. Is there a reason I didn't slice my veggies smaller? Yes, there is a reason. And that main reason is, well, two. One, aesthetically, I wanted them to look big on the plate. So it looks like a full plate of kind of big chopped veggies on there and it kind of looks nice it presents better as you'll see a lot sometimes in uh at least tomatoes to the side in restaurants if you were doing something big like this and two since i'm not doing like an omelet or anything like that i want them to almost be um you know able to pick up and eat not pick up it's not finger food but use with a fork or something you know i don't want them like diced too small like it was an omelet or something like this mushroom is a perfect size to where you know, you can just pick it up and eat it. It's a good size. So uh, the peppers, you might want to cut a little bit, but yeah. Main reason though, to be honest with you, and this is again, like I said, it's a restaurant I go to that does this. It really just looks the best when it comes out on the plate. It just is kind of a nice little thing to add to it to get your veggies looking all charred and big. And so, and you can really see that char, like the mushroom and the pepper here. Let's see if I can get the pepper. Yeah, just gives it a nice look to it, but 
That would be why. Got our asparagus going here real quick. Potatoes, we're gonna keep moving off to the side. They're almost done. Veggies, we're gonna move over there too. They are getting close. Except for this one. I really wanna get a good char on this one. Turn the asparagus over real quick. Oh, my fire's still rolling, all right. I don't know if everybody can see the fire in the background, but I got it going right just back there. I don't know if it's helping me out or not actually staying warm, but I think mentally it makes me feel better. <laughs> all right. We're almost there and the eggs we're gonna do last. I'm gonna put a little bit of feta in the eggs and then sprinkle it on top along with the green onions. We are looking good so far. Okay. Keeping it rolling here. Lots of good stuff today. Really happy with the way these veggies are looking. Really happy with the way these veggies are looking. I do like tomatoes as well. Tomatoes on there look real good. They're always nice. Let me grab my plate real quick. All right, we got our plate ready to go. Put everything on the blue plate here today. Throw my croissants down just to get them nice and warm. Asparagus is not getting as much color as I would like right now. I'm gonna put the weight on there to move that process along because everything else is pretty much done. And once I throw these eggs down, they are not gonna take very long, I'll tell you that. So this first part here is where I'm gonna do my eggs right next to the um, asparagus. It's coming in around 320, which is perfect. It's right where I want it to be at. Move it over a little more. These over. Don't need the weight anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has all turned out. I've done this on the stove before, but this is my first time on the griddle, and I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Okay. Got my three eggs here, which I'm gonna scramble up real quick. A little bit of water in there. The rest of my salt and pepper go in there. Been trying to scramble the legs, the legs. <laughs> Been trying to scramble my eggs last minute just to really see if I notice a difference. I've uh, been doing a lot of reading online about eggs, try to get as educated as I can for the griddle. And um, 
They say if you scramble them last minute that they'll be a little fluffier, so we'll see. I don't know. I haven't truly noticed a difference. I will let you know if I do. From my experience working in restaurants, I'm usually working with the uh, already pre-scrambled eggs that come in a carton. So I really didn't have much experience with this, but normally I would have just scrambled these while I was uh, cutting up all the veggies and doing all my prep work. But live and learn, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens and hopefully we all learn together. Get a little more tea here. Been moving into hot tea recently over coffee as well. I don't know why. If you have any hot tea drinkers and you have a good brand, let me know. Because I'm just starting to dabble a little bit. I like Constant Comet. It has uh, seems to have like some clove in it, and I really like that a little orange slice and clove is what I think I read on the side. Oh, there we go. The croissants are nice and warm. Asparagus is done. Well, we let me make sure everyone can see the eggs. All right, pour these eggs down. Pour these eggs. Almost all of them are down. Make a little pocket in the middle. And there we go. I'm gonna give some of the feta in here. Not the big piece. Just to let it kind of melt and cook in there with the eggs. And then the rest of the feta, I'm gonna put on top of the eggs. Kind of just gonna cut the heat on everything now. It's, it's pretty much done, the eggs are gonna cook. There's plenty of heat left in this griddle. Well, the eggs cook, I'm gonna start plating it. They are almost there. Still a little bit wet. I, I like my eggs a little wet, to be honest with you. Probably a little wetter than my, my wife likes them, so I cook them a little longer for her. But everybody's got a different way they do it. My big egg theory, I think it just depends on how your mother made it. And that is how you like your eggs. Because mom always knows what's best. Oh yeah. Those are done. Okay. Everything's sliding around here. I could have wiped my griddle off a little bit better before I did these eggs, and then they would not. They would not have these black specks in them. Green onions, the rest of the feta is going on there. We're gonna go ahead and make room for these potatoes on here. One little corner left for the taters. All right, and let's see here. Let's see if I can get this presenting a little bit better. I think the asparagus on top will look best. It has a pop of green in it. And then this green over here. And now I've evened my green out everywhere. And I'll pull the camera down and give everybody a look-see here after I clean off. Uno momento, por favor. All right. And that's it. I like mine with no brown on them. Yep. And that's how she likes them. Learned clean as they go. 
Yeah, I'm normally cleaning a little more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That is scrambled eggs with feta and green onions, some roasted Yukon potatoes, roasted veggies, and two little croissants that were on sale at Aldi. That turned out pretty good, I think, huh? All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And everyone that sees this at a later date, I appreciate you watching as well. Make sure you hit like and then subscribe if you want to see more griddle videos. That's all I do is griddle with Johnny. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.